Marcus Mariota is, by most accounts, a bust. Drafted with the second overall pick by the Titans, the Oregon product is most reasonably known for being the guy benched for Ryan Tannehill who turned the Titans into Super Bowl contenders. He threw for 76 touchdowns to 44 interceptions with Tennessee, going 9-7 three years in a row. He had a tendency to fumble, throw picks, and be injured, but that isn't what I think of when I think of Marcus Mariota. I remember one game, and actually one play, that defines Mariota to me, and it probably isn't the play you're thinking of. January 6, 2018, Wild Card Weekend. The 11-5 Chiefs, led by resident good guy Alex Smith, host the 9-7 Tennessee Titans, their first playoff appearance in a decade. The Chiefs have been dealing with their own playoff misfortunes, having not won a home playoff game since 1994, and with squandering chance after chance over the previous four years, it was do or die time for Smith before he was replaced by a rookie named Patrick Mahomes? I don't know. Anyway, it looked like a new era in Missouri would be postponed for just a little while more as the Chiefs jumped out to a 21-3 lead at the half. Mariota and the Titans offense couldn't get past the Chiefs, or seemingly out of their own way as many passes were dropped and a red zone interception halted a chance to add more points. But the Titans regrouped at the half and took the second half kickoff all the way down the field to the Kansas City one inch line. But after a false start and a sack on second down, the Titans had third and goal from the six. And this is the play most of y'all probably thought this video would be about. Third down and goal. Tennessee in dire need of six and not three. Mariota, Mariota to the line of scrimmage, maybe across the line, it deflects back to him for a touchdown for the moment. I remember watching this happen live with my dad, we both lost our minds with how ridiculous the play was. But this isn't why Marcus Mariota should be remembered. While the play will be on highlight reels for the rest of eternity, this play in a vacuum means nothing. The score is 21-10 Chiefs, still with no signs that the Titans will pull it out. The rest of the third quarter remained scoreless, partially due to Harrison Butker missing a field goal off the upright. Okay, maybe there have been signs the Titans would come back. The fourth quarter scoring opened with a not yet King Henry 35 yard touchdown run. 21 16 Chiefs. The Titans went for two, but failed miserably, leaving the deficit five. The Chiefs made it out to midfield, but had to punt the ball away. So, with 11 minutes and 5 seconds left, the Titans went on a long, methodical drive all the way down to the Kansas City 22. Done it already. From the 22, second and 10. Mariota to the goal line! Touchdown, Tennessee! So, that's the moment, right? Marcus Mariota shows resilience in the face of adversity and gives the Titans the lead. Wrong again. After failing on the two point try, the Titans were only up by one, with 5.58 left in the game. The Chiefs drove into Titans territory, but a good stand by the Tennessee defense forced an incompletion on 4th and 9, giving the ball back to their offense. The Chiefs still had all three of their timeouts, and with the deficit merely one, they were still very much alive in the game if their defense could prevent the Titans from picking up a first down. And it looked like that would be the case as a tackle in the backfield by Marcus Peters and a two-yard game by Henry brought up 3rd and 10. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is why Marcus Mariota deserves to be remembered. So what would you do? Hand it out to Henry. Mariota blocks Henry. First down and more. Marcus Mariota in there to throw a block for Henry. They gave it again to Mr. Fourth Quarter. He has delivered the Titans into the next round of the playoffs. Frank Zombo had that tackle until Mariota put away his concerns for injury and pride, stuck his foot in the ground, lowered his shoulders, and sent the Titans to the divisional round. The Titans lost 35-14 to the Patriots the next week, but that isn't what this is about. That day, the Titans quarterback showed what a true team player is, and that is why Marcus Mariota deserves to be remembered.